Hi there, and welcome to our new feature focus video on our Compose feature within the Image Generation tool in Pencil. We're going to look at two elements of it today. We're going to look at 2D composition and 3D composition. So we're going to launch right into Image Generation to look at 2D composition first. What we're going to do is we're going to open up the tool, we're going to select Generate Image, and then we're going to choose our model right away. I'm going to use stable diffusion in this example, but feel free to try it out with a few options. We've got a canvas and we've got relighting. I'm going to set my relighting pretty high so that my pack shot gets integrated well. I'm adding one of Pencil's sample pack shots, but you can, of course, add your own pack shots from your asset library. I've positioned that in the canvas and then I'm going to prompt about the scene I want this asset in. And I'm using the term asset rather than glass of beer so that the model doesn't inadvertently generate me extra glasses of beer. I'm going to set my number of variations. Here I could also change my aspect ratio. If I do that after setting my object in the canvas, I might just need to go back and reposition the object in the new canvas. I'm getting some results and I can immediately see that I'm getting what I wanted. I really wanted a lakeside scene and I wanted light refracting through that glass and that's come out beautifully. We can see that shadowy refraction on the deck in that first image really clearly. We've got some lovely lighting in all of these, slight distortion on some of these lakeside decks, but the magic of generating 10 images at a time is that we can be pretty sure we're going to get good results within there. To get the most out of this tool, you really want to have pack shots available from multiple different angles so that you can create scenes in a variety of different ways. If you don't have that available, our great feature here is 3D composition. So 3D composition works in a very similar way. I'm going to come straight in here and select my model. This time I'll use Imogen. And this time I'm going to add a USDZ or GLB file. Here I'm going with a skating shoe, like a skate sneaker. I can then reposition that 3D object within my canvas and we can use that slider at the bottom to adjust the size. I'm going to set my relighting pretty high again because I want really good integration. And then we've added some advanced 3D settings, including HDR presets. Here I'm going to go for sunset and we can see the effect straight away and I'm going to adjust the intensity and I'm going to add a shadow so I can change the direction of that shadow using our slider here. I'm going to set that quite far back to zero degrees and then again we're going to come in and prompt and the same applies as in 2D composition prompting. I'm going to refer to the object as asset. Here I'm going to put it on a chipboard skate ramp and I've specified that I want golden hour lighting which fits with that HDR preset of sunset. I'm going to do 10 variations. Again I'm keeping this as 1 1 but you can adjust that aspect ratio and reposition within your canvas accordingly and we'll see the results that we get out of this. That has come out beautifully to start with. These results are coming through ever so slightly slower than the 2D compositions, but I'm getting a really good sense that I've got good results here. We'll just wait for these last couple to come through and then we'll take a look at all of them. There we go. So we've got really good lighting effects. The integration of that asset into the scenes has come out really, really effectively. As with the 2D compositions, there's a couple where there's some weird results coming out. Playing around with the model that you choose could really help. But again, generating 10 at a time, we've got some really good outputs here. So best way to learn this, as ever, is to get into the tool and give it a go. And happy generating. Thank you.